Laura, congratulations on being a graduate student of distinction. Thank you. We really think it's a good program to recognize the UNMC students who are doing interesting things. So tell us a bit about yourself. Tell me about the program you're in and um, what led to you getting uh, this award. You know, you're the Yale Scientia Academy for Career Development Fellow. So tell us about, you know, how you got that and, you know, how your program enabled you to do that. Sure. So I'm a current MD PhD student and I'm completing my PhD in the medical sciences interdisciplinary area, which is MSIA for short. I work in patient oriented research under Dr. Laura Bielek, and that is a perfect home for me because I came to graduate school to learn how to perform clinical trials. And this lab and this combined program um, provided the perfect opportunity to learn the intricacies of how to design a clinical trial, how to implement a clinical trial and clinical trial ethics. So I was motivated in the middle of my graduate school to apply for the Yale Scientia Academy which is a competitive year-long fellowship, and it's designed to foster a peer support network of other underrepresented in medicine and in science students. Um, it also allowed me to connect with role models all across the country and work on my skills of science communication. I was particularly interested in that science communication piece because I find that we don't do the best job of communicating our um, studies and our outcomes to the public. And I really wanted to learn how to do that. That's very good. So can you maybe give an example of uh, somebody or some people that you've met during your fellowship that have inspired you um, to think maybe a little bit differently than you were thinking before you met them? Absolutely. So um, unrelated or somewhat related to the YCA program, I was able to apply and um, obtain another fellowship because of that through the American Society of Bone and Mineral Research. And they sent me all the way to Bologna, Italy, mm. to learn from European scientists, you know, all over the country. And um, something really interesting that I found that they do that maybe we're not doing so well at our institution is drug repurposing. So I got to learn a lot about using medicines and therapies that are already on the market for alternative uses. And that has just been a whole new world in terms of my PhD. It helped us design our current clinical trial and it helps us think about the medicines that we're currently using and how we could apply that to a broader population. And then it helps me as a clinician scientist to be able to tell our patients what therapies are available to them and what might be available in the future. Wonderful. So what do you hope to do when you finish your PhD? That is a really good question. So I plan on defending my PhD in January, and then I still have two years of medical school left. And then I will complete the MD-PhD portion of my program. As of right now, I'm interested in child and adolescent psychiatry. Psychiatry, and I would really like to continue doing clinical trials in those populations. I think, um, you know, children are often left out of clinical trials as are ethnic and racial minorities. And so I'd like to continue the work that I'm doing in a broader community and um, hopefully impact lives that way. That's great. We certainly need more clinician scientists. So that would be wonderful to have you uh, join that cohort. Thanks. Who, who has been your greatest inspiration, would you say, in your life? Well, my parents are a wonderful support system and they are outstanding cheerleaders. So definitely them first. And then, um, you know, throughout my PhD, it has been a bumpy road with the global pandemic, you know, personal matters, et cetera. And our MD PhD director, Dr. Justin Mott has been instrumental in helping me remain enthusiastic about research and medicine and really help me identify what are my passions and how to continue pursuing them going forward. Well, he's a great role model because he's also an MD PhD and uh, he directs that program. So I'm sure he has a lot of um, good advice that he can share with you. Yes, and not only from the science and the medicine point of view, but really from a holistic wellness, um, you know, he's really big on work-life balance and creating a career that you enjoy and that you love so you can remain passionate in what you're doing. So I have found that to just be so inspiring. Excellent. Well, I have one more question for you. You've okay. been here now for three plus two, five years, right? Yeah, I'm about in the end of my sixth. So tell, tell us about the most memorable experience you've had here at UNMC so far. 
Absolutely. So um, I would say my most memorable moment in graduate school was that amazing opportunity to go to Bologna, Italy and study from scientists all across Europe. That was probably the coolest thing I've experienced be directly because of being here at a student as a student. But I think some of my most memorable moments have come from our MD PhD program and our ability to build a peer support network with each other. So spending time with the other MD PhD students at our annual retreat has definitely sparked great memories for me. And I think we'll continue to do so going forward. You know, I think, I think I may stand corrected on this, that the University of Bologna may be the oldest university in the world. It is the second oldest. Is it the second? Okay. Yes, the oldest in Europe, but the first oldest is in Morocco. Okay. Fantastic. And I did get to go to this beautiful anatomy suite, you know, from like the original days of doing anatomy. And it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It was so cool. And we also got to take a pizza making class, which was equally wow. as cool. It's really wonderful. Laura, you know, you're, you're a great um, student of distinction. We're very proud that you're our student. And I thank you so much for sharing this time with me. And I wish you all the very best. Uh, in the Thank rest of your you. School, your defense and um, your career, and hope um, we'll continue to see the great accomplishments that you have ahead of you. Thanks, Dr. Davies. You're welcome.